Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Payday 3. Somebody said you going beast mode on that cereal. <laughs> this is a game that I was anticipating for a long time to drop. It's finally here, but it did come with a couple hiccups. The game had a really rough start with the servers. The servers, I guess, were overloaded. I only got the regular edition. Oh, shit, boy. Oh, here it goes. Shut your ass. Bitch, I the developers were posting a lot on the Payday Twitter and keeping updates with the community and everything. I know those dudes were working hard, bro, trying their best to get the servers up and working. What we can say definitely, though, is this game, in my opinion, is extremely fun. I love the gameplay is great, but I will be honest, I didn't play Payday 2 and I didn't play Payday 1. <laughs> I looked into the two games. I watched some gameplay prior to playing Payday 3 so I could learn a little bit about it and know what was, you know, what was going on. But I like it so far. My only complaint, really, one is the they don't have a voice chat and i really expect them to have a voice chat and then two their movement could use some tweaking and i'm pretty sure they will do that over time but like for example sometimes i feel like i have to strafe left and right more often than i should like i can't just go like this and put it put the crosshair on them does he have it or do i have <laughs> y'all boys know what's going on man oh my god bro oh. Nah, y'all gotta ignite this joint first. The dude that runs at you, the big like juggernaut looking guy. I love the voice lines in this game too. From the from the characters, Chains. Uh, Chains is my favorite. And I'm playing this thing. I'm playing this wolf right now. But Chains is my favorite. How the cops talk and stuff. The little cloaker dude. The things that he says is great too. People like, bitch, I'm beating your ass, bitch. What you gonna do? I'm beating the fucker. Shot that. Watch this. <laughs> that man dead. <laughs> Now, what is this gonna have? Oh, it's just got some money. All right, I've yet to really learn like the stealth. Really only just going loud every time I've played. I've attempted to do stealth, but I haven't looked up any tutorials or anything, how-to videos or whatever on how to do this stuff. It's challenging. It's not, you know, as the heists go forward. I've only done about four of the heists out of the eight that they have available. It is a challenge to to figure out what to do. Be butt-ass naked so the win. What, what you looking at? <laughs> you know, would you see my dick? <laughs> There's seriously super high hopes for Payday 3 for the future of this game. They did such a great job with Payday 2. From the videos I watched and what people have said and what I've been told by my younger brother, they did so many updates to that game and they showed it so much love and care. A few moments later. When you go to get this money, you gotta save them die packs, man. Fuck! Now, I'll be honest, I don't know what the die does to the money, but I know it's not good. I throw all the bags over here and they seem to be fine. Hey, watch out for them snipers, though. I'm gonna get hit with a sniper. Come on, how you dead? Dude, can someone help me? Yeah, the snipers are, they are ridiculous. If you don't get away from them quick enough, drop your shield just in an insane amount. That big ass ammo crate. Pick it up, look how much ammo I get for it. Four bullets. I'm bigger than bullets, bro. Come on, man, let's go. Fuck about that pop punch. Oh, you seen that? That's the cloaker. If you hear a high-pitched noise, look around, shoot, start swinging, start punching, because the cloaker will knock the shit out of you. And I've been hit by a few cloakers. Oh, you hold up on the D-pad. To me, it's random. It's like, they got shit, and then they got this piece of shit drill. <laughs> to me, makes sense. Thank you. Request ammo. Request health. Wait here. Follow me. Hi. Then you got a piece of shit drill. <laughs> what is that, bro? Yeah, I'm dead. Now, how much money we get, though? 180K? I tell you the one very unfortunate thing that has happened due to the servers being messed up and the team working hard as they can to get these servers right. The backlash they've received on reviews on Google, Steam is terrible. It's so unfortunate because that's gonna have a bad impact. I think in the short term, in the long term, the reviews will get better. But in the short term, it's steering some potential players away seeing this. Not even in basing it off of the game, just basing it off of servers being down. Yeah, it is their fault. You're not reviewing view in the game to me it's it's fucked up to do that and it's just released they're gonna have quality of life updates they're gonna have dlcs they've already got a whole year planned out jump right, let's go let's go so the other night at work where i live we got hit with a bad storm it brought in a lot of water we received a message from the manager that said hey we're gonna be open tonight but we're gonna be closed the following night that's cool you know a day off that's not bad i like to have a day off so we go to work and whatnot we're watching the water levels just rise they were rising they're pretty high a lot of rainfall a lot of water coming in and it was concerning i need to start the truck 
concerning to the assistant manager on duty now given the manager was not there even though making the call for us to come in he was not there okay we're wanting to leave we're wanting to leave to get home because the roads going home have water nearby that rises up and it floods the roads it gets about 5 30 and the assistant manager about to call it but i say like, hey man we're, we're probably going to call this doesn't end up happening and we end up leaving work around 8 30 or he did we left a little later than he did once he leaves what's about 10 15 minutes later he gives me a call and he's like you need to get everybody out of there the roads are bad and they're only going to get worse we shut everything down we get the building locked up and everything now i was the first one to head out because i just felt it was right because i was the one that had to lock up the building so i was like i'll put myself first if something bad goes wrong i'm driving through the roads and i come to the first big puddle and i start going through it now i was going about 35 30 miles an hour when i hit this water all of a sudden my car started slowing down i get about halfway through this first puddle and my car starts slowing down boom and i get a little concerned so i'm like all right what the fuck is happening and i feel like it's starting to sputter a little bit also i smelled like a burning smell i was like what the hell we get through that puddle and my car was slowing down but i made it through i stopped before the second one because there was another puddle on this curve get out i talked to my to my co-workers she was like yeah your your car was had some white smoke coming out the back and i thought water was getting to my exhaust but i felt the exhaust there was no water in there so i don't know what exactly was happening but it was hitting something that was causing it to smoke i'm trying to think of a plan because i'm like dude i can't go back and i can't go forwards because it's so deep as the other puddle if not deeper and when i say puddle like this isn't a puddle like this is a lot of water that come up from a stream it flooded the road they come up with an idea to put the person with the highest raised vehicle in front of me to go through everyone's vehicle was higher than mine okay so they they were all right a couple sputters but they were they were better off than i was put that vehicle in front of mine start driving through i had my shit in reverse press the gas and i start backing up my like, oh shit so she's already hauling ass through this water i put it in drive man all of a sudden my car slows down not to 20 but to 10 miles an hour and it's sputtering even worse this time got my wife in the passenger seat just worried to hell and the car sputtering i'm like please just make it through man don't stop us here fuck you bacon burger <laughs> Bitch, I got a damn half eaten cheese bread sandwich. But we're getting about halfway through now, and my car slows down all the way to five miles an hour. We get through, but I was seeing smoke rise from the bottom of my undercarriage. Car in front of me, the girl that was in front of me with the highest raised vehicle, her car was making like a noise. Those who were behind me, they, their car was all right, thankfully. <laughs> But man, after all that happened, there was really no more bad puddles on the way home. We called the manager and everything. We're like, I said, look, man, if my car's messed up, the business is going to pay for this shit. They made us come into work. So it's like they, they got to take uh, responsibility for that. Crazy shit, man. We got to get this money, man. We got to secure this bag. What the fuck? The first time I played this mission and I was throwing these bags, I was like, how the fuck is he gonna throw that bag that far, bro? Cause look, when you throw it, I'm like, look, look. I heard her voice say like, okay, and there's another bag. And I, but I was so worried. I was like, dude, the bag just fell off the fucking edge. Where my team at? Where my team at? Dude, stop all that bullshit. <laughs> Bro, why it bounced off his head like that? I know a lot of people are running dirty ice right now, but I really think that Road Rage is my favorite. I've only played the first four heists. I haven't played the other four. To me, Road Rage has been like the best money making. $600,000, and it wasn't even that hard. I like Road Rage. It was a good heist. Well, first Payday 3 video. I know there wasn't a lot of action going on. I was really focused on telling the story of today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Payday 3, man. Let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. Your wings, man. Y'all stay safe and take care.